Hi everybody, my name is Mark Edwards. I'm a Professor of Neurology at St George's University of London and uh, I'm a consultant neurologist at the Acton Morley Regional Neuroscience Centre. Uh, I'm really delighted to be able to do a video for FND Awareness Day uh, and for FND Action and a number of the other charities that are involved. So one question I often get asked is what is FND? Uh, so maybe we could start with some simple answers. So the first thing is that FND is real. FND is a genuine cause of neurological symptoms and in fact it's one of the commonest reasons for people to go and see a neurologist. And also FND is a, a real cause of disability for lots and lots of people. FND is not made up, imagined or all in the mind. Uh, unfortunately FND is often trivialised and uh, people are given the feeling that, that there's nothing wrong with them and they need to go and pull themselves together, none of which is right. So one way of thinking about what FND is, is it's a problem with the way that people can access or control their own bodies normally. And in different people this can cause lots of different symptoms, for example affecting movement, affecting sensation, affecting thinking or concentration or memory, uh, and even attacks which resemble seizures. So. These symptoms can be different in different people, and so FND is very, very diverse in the way that it affects different people. But it's all the same problem of accessing or controlling the body normally. There's lots of triggers and risk factors that seem to make people more likely to develop FND. These include things like having other medical problems, having acute health events like accidents or injuries, having difficult previous life events or recent life events, and so on. Now, some of these things are present in people with FND, particular people with FND, some, pe some are not. And so it stands to reason that people with FND need a holistic assessment to try and work out what's relevant to them, and then treatments that are specific and are relevant to the kind of problems and other illnesses that people might have. Now, in the UK, we're really leading worldwide in trying to develop a system or services like that, but we're really a very, very long way away from that, unfortunately. And so it is the case that for lots of people with FND, they're really left to fend for themselves with support from their families or loved ones, uh, and really are rejected or not paid attention to at all by health services. And that's really something that has to change. So with FND Awareness Day, with the work of charities such as FND Action, uh, that's something that I think really can change and something where we could get to a different situation, a much better situation for people with FND. So I think that events such as this really can try and communicate with people who have money within the health service, so health service managers, those who fund research and also uh, people on the ground in healthcare to show them what FND really is and the problems that exist and importantly how those problems could be solved. So I really believe that with a little bit of investment and a lot of hard work the situation could be different. I don't think it's impossible that with that very soon we could get to a situation where people with FND can get a diagnosis quite quickly and they could get a diagnosis that's properly explained they can get uh, access to support and information about this condition and they can get access to proper treatments which are specific to FND and the problems that individual people have. And with that I know that a lot of people's symptoms are going to improve. And even for those people where symptoms don't improve, we need to have a system where we can look after people and we fund research to try and make treatment better so that everybody has a chance of improvement from this condition. So please keep shouting about FND, please keep being difficult when you get knocked back and please never stop fighting. And I'm really excited to see what we can all do together to advance the cause of people with FND and to get to a situation where treatment is better and people's symptoms can really improve. Thanks very much.